Hi, I'm Jesper from the ST TouchGFX team. In this video, I'll show you two of the new features in the 4.21 release. The first feature I will show you is what we call TouchGFX Stock. TouchGFX Stock is a huge collection of graphical designs, widget presets, that is a predefined look and feel for widgets, uh, useful images such as backgrounds and a lot of uh, icons uh, and it contains also examples on how to combine these to make a great looking GUIs with all free images supplied by the TouchDFX designer. The way you use these stock images in the designer is quite similar to how you did it in uh, the previous versions where there also was a limited set of predefined images for most of the widgets. To try it out, let's uh, go and add an uh, image. You can see here it uh, lets you choose a specific image for this image widget. You see all the images that you have in your um, project, which is none because it's a new project I made. Um, if I, instead of selecting one of those, want to use one of the stock images, I select this one and I get this view here of all available images. This gives me a lot of uh, choices. Uh, let's have a look at how to navigate. So first of all, there's a theme, a set of themes in the TouchDFX stock. So I press this. I hear I can read about this particular theme, which is called alternate theme. It tells me a bit about uh, how it uh, is composed. It shows me some of the colors that are used in, uh, in the theme. And if I want to use this color, I can copy it and paste it in whatever widget I uh, am using. I can see some presets, some examples on uh, images made from uh, stock images from this uh, particular theme. There's a set of themes uh, to pick from. There's a lot of um, big themes here, so a glass theme, a dark theme, and so on. And there is a particular uh, icons theme that consists of a lot of icons, but more on that later. For now, let me choose the alternate theme and select a background. These are separated into resolutions. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is my current resolution. Let me pick this one and here we go. Let's add a few other widgets as well. For a button, that's a wide selection as well. Uh, within this theme, so these designs go together um, but of course you are free to choose from other themes as well um, so i can choose this one and for a slider same goes um, here's a preset this preset will not just set the images used but also some of the the parameters that defines this image or this slider i mean how where the knob is positioned and so on <clears throat> i can pick from the same theme as i did uh, just before okay other uh um widgets is like the analog clock has a whole bunch of them as well in different sizes and different themes so a lot to choose from a thing like icon is icons is very um, often very tedious to find the right one we have now added a collection of around 2000 icons to choose from so there should be something uh, for uh, a lot of situations. So let's try it out. 
I add a flex button here. Uh, I'll add a um, an image as background. So I can do this and here I can again select a preset. Let me stick to this theme. Uh, this button, this type of button is called icon because they are square and it matches icons. Um, so let me pick one of those and add one of the icons to it. So I'll add a visual element again, and this time an, an icon. <clears throat> so here we go to stock again, and remember we have the icon theme here. I have a search bar here, so let's say I wanted to do something with uh, play, play button. Here's a set of play icons or something that matches play. This one looks fine for me. I'll select it. Um, and now I can position it inside this flex button here. So let me try to do that correct. Like, uh, like this. I can change the color of the of the uh, of the arrow here. Well, let me choose this one. I can change the size of the icon to be a little bit uh, bigger. So on. maybe I should have done that before I position it. Okay, like this. And then I need a pressed um, version. So which icon will I use when the button is pressed? Well, in this case, I'll use exactly uh, the same. Um, so I'm gonna refine that one again, play this one. And I need it to be the same uh, size. And then a color, I can make it a little bit darker. Okay, I can try it all out. I can compile and see that it works. All of the images in all of these themes that are supplied right now are free to use, completely free to use in any uh, TouchDFX based project. So uh, even uh, they are not just for prototyping, they are also, if you want to, you can use them for your, uh, your final product. I have it here, so we see the effect is here, a glow effect on these uh, widgets from that particular clay theme. The images from TouchGFX stocks I handled just as in earlier versions of the designer. That is, they are placed in a particular um, folder when they're compiled, and if you delete the widgets that are using it. So if I delete this analog clock and generate again, the images will not be in your project anymore. So you are not responsible for handling these images. Of course, if you want these images to uh, stay in your project or use them for something else, maybe even modify them, you can copy them from your project uh, and uh, yeah, copy them and make a, the changes you want. So here in the generated folder, here are all the images. So if I want to keep this one, change it, I should copy it here and uh, maybe place them here or in some other folder. Then you have the complete uh, uh, or you can do whatever you want with that that image. It is not uh, handled by the designer uh, anymore. So all in all, TouchDFX Talk really uh, give you a lot of opportunities to make uh, nice looking UIs in minutes. So I uh, encourage you to go and have a look, play around with it, see uh, what the options are and uh, how great a 
UI you can make in just uh, minutes. The next new thing I would like to show you is the new widget called SVG image. The SVG image is a widget that shows an image which is based on an SVG image instead of the traditional PNG image that is used by uh, the other widgets in TouchDFX. Basing your images on SVG, a vector-based format instead of PNG or BMPs, as in the case of when uh, of TouchFX when running on target, uh, has some advantages in some cases and uh, a few disadvantages. The advantages is that as it's based on vector graphics, you can scale it and rotate the image without losing any uh, quality of the rendering. The disadvantage is that you do this on runtime and thus it will require more of the hardware when rendering it. So be aware when using SVG images, um, especially on smaller hardware, well, it can uh, require a lot and even more than your hardware can uh, handle. Um, ST comes with some new uh, some new hardware in the future that will um, accelerate this very much, which will uh, allow you to do a lot more vector graphics uh, than on uh, older versions uh, of these chips. Another advantage is that in some cases the size of the image will be smaller, of course, depending on the complexity of your SVG image. The way the SVG image works is very much uh, like the texture mapper widget. Um, it gives you a clipping area where you can place the image inside and you can rotate and uh, scale it in this clipping area. And if it goes uh, beyond it, its boundaries, uh, it will be clipped. If you have a look at the properties over here, you can see you can position the image within this uh, this widget. You can scale it in X and Y, and you can set a rotation center, and you can rotate it. So changing the position will change the well, yeah, the position of the image inside the widget. Scale, scale it, and rotate, will rotate it. And in this case, you can see it will rotate about 0, 0, which is up here. If I instead uh, change this to uh, something like uh, this, we see that it now rotates around Maybe not the center, but close. And you can see here, it will be clipped when it moves outside or the thing, the part of the image that is outside this clipping area. There's a few helper settings here to be used in, in, in certain situation. For example, fit image to size here. Um, the image position and the skates are locked. They are automatically updated when I uh, change the size. So the scale will be changed so that the image will take up all of the all of the widget. The lock image to center will make sure that the image is in the center, but will not be scaled. Also, the rotation center is updated so that it will rotate around the center point. Be aware that the SVG image you have will be rendered. So if the SVG image has some spacing to the left of the image, for example, that is part of the image. So it might not appear to be centered because uh, of this spacing that is uh, built in into the image. 
you can manipulate the SVG image through uh, interactions, or of course you can use the API uh, directly from your code to set uh, change these uh, parameters here. By the way, these two settings here, fit image to size and log image to center, is in the design phase only. So it's not uh, a property on the uh, widget itself that will uh, be active during uh, runtime. If you want to have a look at the API, you can uh, follow this link here and uh, read about the SVG image on our uh, documentation site. Let's try to do an uh, interaction here. So uh, when the button is clicked and we have this one button here, I can say uh, rotate SVG image, this SVG image. I can set a specific angle, but I can also uh, click this one and have a relative angle change, so uh, plus uh, three. Okay, let's build. <coughs> Yes, so that's how you can tie an interaction to uh, to updating your SVG image. One final uh, comment to the SVG image is that not the entire set of SVG um, functionality is supported by TouchDFX. There are some more exotic uh, variants uh, that you can use in your SVG that is not supported. You can read more about that in the in the documentation of the SVG image itself. The way you will uh, notice this if you are using or your SVG image is using something that is not supported, you will have either a warning or an error when you build your project and it will state which part of the SVG is not supported. Okay, that's all for me this time. Hope you'll enjoy uh, TouchDFX 421.